Hello everyone, we are at the Los Angeles Film Festival here for Banana Split. It is finally out and I am here with three of the main cast members, some involved in other aspects as well. Can you just introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Dylan Sprouse, I am the cast member. <laughs> I am Hannah Marks and I'm a cast member, producer, and co-writer. And I'm Liana Liberato and I'm a cast member. Great, thank you. So, congratulations first of all, it is so great to so you all work in this element together. I um, watched the film and I'm obsessed with it. Yay! And I must say, um, a lot of time, kind of high school romantic comedies aren't very much like high school, but I feel like you did a really good job in you know, utilizing different social media platforms and kind of showing the jealousy that happens within the high school world. So was that kind of a conscious decision um, you know, for you to kind of incorporate that into the script and then for you guys, how do you feel about that? Well, thank you so much. That's the best compliment ever because I was homeschooled and did not go to high school. So the whole time I was scared. I was like, is this right? Is this how you sit in the class? It's obvious you're homeschooled. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Totally. Um, so thank you. And I don't, I don't know how to answer the other, the other part of that. Um, I mean, I think that you, you really can't have a high school drama or relationship scenario without some sort of social media element mm -hmm. nowadays. Um, so I think that this definitely captured it well, and kind of the complications that arise from being so transparent with all of your, like, activities and where you are, or even trying to be something more than you are on your social media life. Mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, I was also homeschooled, oh, so okay. <laughs> I would have no, I, no connection to the high school experience at all, also but... obvious. Yeah, very obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Um, but I... I, I think that the, the one thing I related to most was just, I feel like outside of high school or in high school, like your relationships when you're a teenager are pretty, pretty consistent, mm -hmm. the same, and like the drama is the same, the, how heightened everything is when it comes to new relationships and friendships, that's definitely something that I really related to. Definitely, yeah, and I saw that, you know, just because I, I guess I'm the only one who wasn't homeschooled in this group, uh -huh. <laughs> so I, I wasn't just, homeschooled. You went to I, regular high school? I went for one year. Oh my school. god, yeah, that doesn't I was count. homeschooled <laughs> I for a long school. time in my life, but okay. I went for most of my life I was Super homeschooled. Super obvious. Okay, <laughs> well then I guess we yeah, can so both obvious. attest that it's, um, you know, some of it, it is the unfortunate circumstances of being in a public school, which is great for, you know, the socialization, but at the same time, like, all these issues in high school when, you know, you're trying to mature and figure out who you are, are arising. Are, are arising and with social media I feel like that's just elevated. It's much more public too. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm guessing there's a lot more pressure on, on kids in high school because you're all taking pictures so and you are super aware of how you look and mm -hmm. how you're feeling in a way that's you know more public Definitely. ten years ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah for sure. Can you imagine like the photos we took. Oh, it's so <laughs> very oh, so like the ones with um like a digital camera, but it's yeah. like in the bathroom mirror, and you can see like all the stuff oh. on the mirror. Yeah, so gross. Those yeah. were the dark days. You're triggering. Right? So I mean, even like I, I'm just glad my MySpace is still not around because oh, that nice. was bad Fun enough, and it, yeah. and that wasn't nearly as transparent yeah. as, as like Instagram. Amazing, amazing. Um, and another thing, you know, about social media, you all are uh, pretty active online on Instagram and Twitter, but how do you kind of maintain? the balance between, you know, wanting to be out there, you know, in this limelight and the Hollywood glamour while also, you know, being vulnerable because I know like you do kind of get to the get into the like the nitty gritty with your fans and respond to comments, but how do you kind of conscience consciously find that balance? I like to pick and choose. Yeah. I mean I don't think there's like a right or wrong way to do it. Mm -hmm. Like you can either speak on your own behalf if something like offends you or you feel like <clears throat> it's really great that someone made a certain comment or you can just like under the radar and oh, yeah. I, I don't know I feel like the biggest thing I struggle with with social media is you don't want to come off like a narcissist when you're yeah. an actor always yeah. posting stuff about yourself but that's also your job and your yeah. livelihood so it's this fine line between like do I look like an asshole posting all this stuff about myself and um, so that that gets uncomfortable because you've got to find a way to still seem genuine mm -hmm. but yeah. you're also self-promoting and that's that's a tricky thing exactly like you can't fish for more than what you are, I think, in that respect, and when you do, like, it's very obvious when mm. actors have, like, fished for for all of these. <laughs> I feel like you're thinking of, like, a hundred things in your head. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I got a list. I got a list. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's pretty obvious, I think, when actors have not 
had a chance to strike that balance well, right? You see it when it's like either way too much self-promotion and lack of like a personal account or, uh, I don't know. I think it's just, it's about being authentic nowadays because in a weird way, you know, when you have such transparency, I think the accounts that I least like to follow or my friends' accounts that I really enjoy are the ones that are the most transparent mm -hmm. and the ones that seem very authentic um, and that aren't kind of like ruses for what they're trying to do or get across. Mm -hmm. You can so tell too. Yeah, yeah. and Amy Spears, her Instagram, so authentic. I love really her. I love yeah, her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all these modeling videos and dancing videos. I love it. Love I it. It's also <laughs> weird though as actors because you know, you don't want people to know you too well because then how can they believe you as a character? Mm -hmm. So I find myself, when I watch movies with famous people, it's hard to believe the movie sometimes, mm -hmm. even though they're great at what they do and so charming and this and that, but it's so um, so much easier to believe a movie that has people in it that aren't famous now. I love that. You I know, like that. eighth grade would felt so oh, authentic yeah. because no one knew who any of those people were. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Um, and I guess to kind of touch on like the LA Film Festival, the reason why we're here today is all of you have done, you know, sitcoms, movies, uh, kind of these big project type things, but I think it is so important for independent films to get recognition as well. And like the LA Film Festival, it's obviously huge. It's throughout all of LA for like this entire weekend. So why do you think it's important as actors to still dazzle in kind of the indie film life while also, you know, wanting to be on like national television? I feel like indie films don't always get as much love and I wish they would because like this film is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's one. Of, it's such a pure uh, form of art because mm. there's not as much money at stake, so you can take more risks and you can be more honest with your feelings. And thanks to festivals like these, you can you can go actually see them in a theater. And I think it's great that you can stream indie films now. And people anywhere can watch anything, which mm. is awesome. But it's also nice to keep theaters alive and be able to go to the theater and see something like this. Yeah, it's also a, a lot of times it's where the passion in the industry is the strongest mm -hmm. yeah. too because when when I guess production ramps up to be a very large scale companies are taking actually less risks a lot of the mm -hmm. time because they want a kind of tried and true format um, but in independent films a lot of the times you're working with like our director for example who's wonderful is a first time director so even though he's been in the industry and he's a veteran, he's, this is the first time directing. And, you know, the truth is, is that that still kind of exclusively exists in independent films too, right? So you get a chance to see people doing things in a different way, mm -hmm. which is really important. Like actors, they're confounding expectations by doing things that are much more diverse. Uh, directors, producers, you know, all of the above, it's the same way. And, and the scripts are oftentimes better. Yeah, I, I love that. Great answer. Wow. Is there anything to add? <laughs> to me, it's a true testament to the quality of the script sometimes mm -hmm. because no one, when it, most of the time when an independent movie is being made, no one's there for the money. Like, everyone's there because they genuinely care about the project and they see something special in it. Like, no one was here for a paycheck. They were all That's for damn sure. Yeah. yeah. They, Double down on that. But, that, but like, like, it creates the best energy on set because no one's unhappy to be there. They mm -hmm. all want to no play their either. part and invest in a great film, so. Yeah, yeah we made about five, five cents. Yeah. Well, yeah, I made four. You made four. Yeah. You made one four? The, one of the <laughs> few <laughs> cases. I was going to say one of the few cases where women were. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I love that. Smash the glass seal. <laughs> you can go to Ruby's Diner and get four gumballs that are a penny each. That's wow. what we did. So, wow. yeah. That's how we ate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That no, was no my diet. It was just That's how I lost it. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Um, here comes the self promo of it all of this. I always wrap up with that. Um, can you just kind of plug Banana Splits um, Instagram and Twitter? I know you guys have been posting all over there as well as your um, personal accounts and of course your all wise mirror. Oh, yeah. Congratulations! Oh my goodness! Thank you. Thank you. I'm still waiting for my bottle. It's cello. Well, you gotta buy it. <laughs> you want to try cost. some mead? Yeah. It, wait, it's the yeah. movie. Plug, plug. <laughs> At Panera right. Split Movie, I think, on Twitter and Instagram is what it is. And an always meter. Yeah. Well, I'm not even going to plug that because it's 
It's like, pretty <laughs> obvious. <laughs> it's right here. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, we're all, I think we're all posting independently about Banana Split mm -hmm. movie. Hashtag Banana Split movie. Yes. Also, the accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well thank you all so much again. Congratulations. Thank you thank for you. making time for me. This was a great um, time for me to kind of get away from the stress of senior year in college. So wow. I know I'm stressful. almost I love done. your glitter, by the way. Yes. Thank you. It's really, it's on point. Oh my gosh, that made my day. Thank you oh, so much. It's real cute. It's part of my brand. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you. It gets everywhere. Glitter's part of his brand. Too. Yeah. <laughs> really? I should have brought some for you. I have 50. It would really make it. I mean, awesome. yeah, the thing is, is that normally I don't like to glisten and glow on, <laughs> on like a general day, but I feel like today I could probably oh, glow. Could you glisten say it? You're ready for the carpet later. Okay, yeah. please. Like, clam the fuck up. Please. Please do it. <laughs> I would love it if when you did that it like cuts to you in a full <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it.